All right, it's uh, 531. I'll call to order this uh, special council meeting here on uh, Tuesday, November 19th. And uh, welcome everyone here this evening. Uh, before we start, I want to thank uh, Cindy sent me a note earlier today, and I, I want to thank you for doing that, Cindy, because I didn't want to get past this moment and reminding everybody that today, 150 years ago, President Abraham Lincoln opened a cemetery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, one of the most uh, poignant and important speeches in our nation's history was delivered, and those words hold true today as they did uh, back then. And so today's the 150th anniversary of that, so I think it's important for us as, as American citizens to uh, remember days like that. And, um, so November 19th. Uh, we've got a short agenda tonight, and uh, it's a, a matter of finance, and uh, I will uh, ask D Doug Savine as the uh, committee chair for, for that to uh, to lead the discussion, I know we've got George Wilford here to, to make a presentation. So, Doug, if you want to go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. We have before us uh, an, an issuance of some more bond money, a million dollars particularly, and it's referencing a, a sewer project that we have talked about for a long time, and we've issued the bonds. And so if you get up and make a presentation about uh, the process, et cetera, and then we'll make a motion. Uh, Mayor, members of the council, for the record, that uh, George Wilford was for Southwest, and we serve as financial advisor to the city. And uh, the process began, as you're aware, uh, probably a, a month and a half or so ago, issuing certificates. You have to uh, uh, resolve to publish notice, and that notice publication has occurred. In the meantime, working uh, with Mr. Kaiser, uh, a solicitation was put out to uh, commercial banks, uh, local banks, as well as others that are active in purchasing uh, municipal issues and so on, because it was determined that uh, given the size and 10-year repayment, that would be a lot more economical than, than getting ratings and going out into the public market and so on. And what you have that uh, Cindy uh, passed out is, is kind of the summary uh, of, of everything that occurred. Uh, on the front page, you'll see that the issue size is a million dollars. Uh, the cost of issuance, and this was based on preliminary estimates, actually should come in a little bit below that, a little bit below 30000 so that the net proceeds for project costs be somewhere over nine seventy or so. And as I said, 10-year uh, repayment with principal beginning February uh, of 2015, which would be next year. Uh, but interest, uh, 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 well, both principal and interest beginning on that day. And what's important to the city is uh, with the bids, uh, these uh, uh, certificates are callable or redeemable, prepayable uh, at any time uh, after issuance. We had requested that, and some of the banks uh, allowed that. Some of them uh, didn't and so on. On the second page, what you'll see is uh, actually six bids were received. There were seven. But unfortunately, a Texas bank uh, was uh, late, uh, later than the uh, prescribed uh, uh, date and time, that, or the time at least, that, that bids were due. And they weren't the lowest anyway, so it didn't really have any impact. But out of the six qualifying bids, you'll see the interest rates range from 2.49% uh, up to 3.81 uh, effective rate. And uh, there were two at 2.49. We recommended the TIB, which is uh, acronym for Texas Independent Bank. They're a, a correspondent for most, if not all, of the independent banks within the state. And the reason they, over the BBNP, is that TIB offered, like I said, that the bonds could be prepaid, prepaid at any time, whereas BBNP had more or less a three-year lockout. So at the same rate, it made TIB a more favorable purchaser. And the page following that shows the debt service associated with the issue at, at the actual rate, along <coughs> with the debt service that you have that's uh, payable from water and sewer revenues. And we also have brought all the documents uh, prepared by McCall Parkhurst and Horton uh, that would uh, be ne needed to sign and, and actually uh, uh, the uh, issuance process. So at the pleasure of the council, uh, motion to uh, uh, authorize issuance and, uh, and approve sale would be appropriate, but uh, I 
be glad to answer any questions that you might have as well. If the council will remember, we had a discussion, I can't remember, is it how long ago, six weeks ago, five weeks ago, something like that, where we had a long discussion about what the purpose of the, lo uh, the bond was, and it was obviously everybody's in agreement on that. Just the issue tonight is to which, which uh, lending institutions. So any questions from the council for George? George, what's the total amount of interest that'll be paid on million dollar, million dollars with TIB? Okay, if you look on that third page, that's uh, detailed out uh, for the 10 year period, that middle column, uh, $191,938 will be the, uh, assuming there is no prepayment uh, principal, that'll be the total interest cost uh, for the 10 year period. One of the reasons for the 10 year note at the time was our our debt service in water will be, uh, is it water or sewer? Betty, I think it's water. water will be taken care of. will be basically zero here pretty quickly. So that's one of the reasons we kept it to 10 years. Yes. And one thing I failed to uh, mention is uh, the closing uh, or actual receipt of funds uh, will be on December 18th. So we'll be coordinating with uh, Walter and Mark so that uh, the proper account and so on can be established where the money will be uh, wired where you would like. Okay. Any other questions, Council? Is that what you need? I just want to confirm that, and I don't have a calculator on me. 191938 is 2.49% of 1 million. On an amortized basis, yes, sir. That's, Paid out over 10 years. That's the interest carried for the life, yes, sir. Thanks, George. Any other questions? Hearing none, Mayor, then I'll make a motion. I've got the wording here. Move to adopt an ordinance authorizing the issuance and sale of the city's combination tax and revenue certificates of obligation series 2013 in the amount of $1 million and approving all other matters pertaining thereto. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Mr. Savine, seconded by Mr. Hogan to uh, adopt an ordinance. Um, and do we have a 2013-20 a uh, authorizing issuance and sale as stated? Any discussion? I have a question for Betty, Mayor. Okay. <clears throat> Can you tell me which basins the million dollars is going to be spent on? Seven and three. Will that cover the entirety of those two basins? No. Will it cover the entirety of one of those bases? Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Any other comments? We have a lot of work to do on the sewer line. Yeah. This is our first step. All right. If not, we'll uh, proceed to vote. Uh, all those in favor, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. All right. That motion carries a unanimous vote approving Ordinance 2013-20 authorizing the issuance and sale of the city's combination tax and revenue certificates of obligation series 2013 in the amount of $1 million uh, and approving all other matters pertaining thereto. George, I appreciate your help. You always do a good job for us. Okay. Thank you, uh, Finance Committee and, and George as well and, and staff for pulling this together. Walter, Walter left. Okay. Uh, all right, the next item on the agenda is uh, to consider accepting a grant for a Type 6 fire engine from the Texas Intrastate Fire Mutual Aid System. And, uh, we've got a brief from Ms. Chu. Uh, actually, Chief Chu is here, the fire chief, and he can apprise you. This is a grant that we applied for <coughs> several years ago and have now received. To, give, right. you, to give you a brief history of it, uh, uh, some of y'all that were on the council at that time may remember that in, I believe it was 2008 to 2009, we authorized the purchase of a, uh, what y'all would call a grass rig for the fire department. And we, uh, we actually took bids on the truck and uh, were, well, I think we actually got the bids on the truck and we came to y'all and suggested that we not buy the truck because at that time we were getting involved in the Texas Fire Interstate Texas Interstate Fire Mutual Aid Systems, TIFMAS, and it was being farmed and we were, we were kind of on the ground floor and getting that farmed. And uh, 
that we knew there were going to be some <coughs> grant monies, and we suggested we not buy that truck and apply for this. And uh, this is the culmination of that. And uh, I, I want to, I got to thank uh, Mr. Kaiser on this because he, he has allowed us to be involved in this. And because of this, over the years, we have built points in this grant system that allows us to do this. We will get a Type 6 engine, which is a, a um, what y'all would call a, a one ton a dually type truck, uh, 350 gallons with a foam um, system on it. And it's, uh, it's deployable anywhere in the state of Texas. Actually, we can deploy it anywhere in the region six. And uh, it will be ours, it will be titled to us. And uh, we are a member of a task force that if it's called on like, uh, for instance, Bastrop, we responded to Bastrop as a member of our task force using one of our trucks, and this will use this truck. We will be the 32nd, I believe it is, city that will receive one of these, that has received one of these trucks, and we're getting to the point that uh, Texas is almost to the point that they'll only call on Tiffmas trucks. They won't be calling on local trucks to, uh, to do this with them, and I'll be happy to ask any, answer any questions about this. Any questions? I've got one. Okay. Is the asset here coupled with others so that if there is a regional fire like the, the Possum Kingdom or Bastrop, they're, they're mobilized under? Yes, sir. We are, we are a member. The truck will be housed here, and we're a member of uh, a task force that is made up of Stephenville, Brownwood, Coleman, and Abilene. And uh, if they call, if if Tifmas, Tifmas activates, they start calling for task forces to go to different places, and we'll uh, we will man ours, and we'll go as a five truck unit to wherever. Okay. We responded to uh, PK. We, we twice we've been to PK. We've been to some uh, state out in West Texas. We've been to Bastrop, and we've used one of our trucks for that. But we'll use this truck for that type okay. of thing. And we can use this truck locally. As long as we don't use it as the first response you truck, we can. If we one of our trucks goes out, it can follow it, and we can use it in town. Okay. <coughs> Where will be housed? Which, which station? Excuse me. Which station? Probably station two. We've probably got room for it at station two. We're clearing out some stuff at at station one that's going to the new station two. So we've probably got a little bit of space either place, and and uh, we'll house it just depending on what trucks are there at this at any given time. All right, so uh, any other questions? I'll yeah. Consider a motion. I have one question. Oh, okay, go yeah. ahead. Uh, Chief Chu, the letter is dated November 1st, and it says that uh, we must accept or decline uh, within 14 days of receipt of this letter. Are we doing this quick enough? To yes, sir. Uh, we, uh, we immediately call them, and uh, they understand that we have to have council action on, on this type of thing, and, and they, they had no problem with that being put on hold. I talked to the lady today. Is uh, When y'all sign this tonight or when the mayor signs this tonight, if he signs it, then we will. Uh, I'm going to email them a copy of it, and then I'm going to uh, overnight them a, the hard copy tomorrow. So we're good to go on that. According according to a and uh, according to the A and M Forest Service, we're good to go on it. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. All right. How long is, is that in a truck they already have, or is the truck you have to order? Like the, the truck other? will. The truck is under construction right now. The state of Texas has <coughs> they uh, put so many million dollars to these trucks every year. It's in the, it's in the budget, and they're building uh, right now. They're building eight of these trucks a year, and the grants go out in October. They tell us in October who got the grants, and we expect to get the truck in May. Okay. Mayor? Uh, Mr. McDaniel. I move we accept the uh, grant proposal by the Texas A&M Forest Service for a Type 6 engine. Second. I'll second. All right, it's been moved by Mr. McDaniel, uh, seconded by Mr. Pendleton to accept the grant for Type 6 engine under the TIFMAS Grant Assistance Program. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? All right, that motion carries. Uh, approval to accept the, uh, the grant for Type 6 engine as <coughs> stated. Uh, before we leave this, I want to I just say one thing uh, about this that we shouldn't take for granted, and that is that relationships um, matter 
and you reap what you sow. And a lot of times people use that terminology as a way to, to be a negative. But Chief Chu, I know you personally within the region and, and our fire department as a whole have participated in things like you mentioned, PK. And so I'm sure when this came up, those efforts played into the decision. And, and so you're to be applauded, you and your staff, for for that and your your leadership within the uh, the firefighting community is greatly appreciated. So, you have worked hard in this room. well, it, it's it's always a team effort, but but it it, it takes a, a leader, and you've done that. And I think our participation in things within the state is one of the reasons why the state's willing to recognize Stevenville with this. So, good on <coughs> you. Thank thank you a lot. Okay, um, any other things before we adjourn? I, I want to say, uh, I want to say one thing. Um, I'm sure the council will will agree. Uh, Chief Bridges, uh, you and and the police force um, were in the paper early this week as a result of some phenomenal work um, by by your team, along with the other law enforcement teams in the in the county and the state. And uh, the community needs to sleep well at night knowing that there's professionals like, like our, our police force that, that are out there making a difference. And uh, that stuff doesn't happen overnight. I know that was months and in some cases years in the making. And uh, your, your professionalism was stellar. So uh, thanks very much for that, that work this, this week. Uh, and with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor, I move that we adjourn. Okay. All's in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we uh, are adjourned to special council meeting. <coughs> and at this time, just for expediency, see, because we got a tip off here in a few minutes, um, we're going we're gonna to move to the personnel committee. Normally we move into the training room for these, these uh, sessions, but uh, talk to the council and everybody agreed, hey, let's just stay where we're at. So uh, at this time, I'll turn over to the personnel committee, Mr. Hogan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the Personnel Committee met last week. We received the compensation uh, study survey on November 1st. Uh, the council and the committee had 12 days to develop questions and take a look at that study. We had a question and answer uh, session one week ago, and tonight we're just going to follow up with that with an additional question and answer session if, that you have for staff. I know Mark's not here today, but um, Betty's here, and she'll try to answer your, quest her, your questions to the best of her ability. And really what we're trying to do here is develop a question from all the council members of follow-up questions, concerns.